Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek, and today we're going to be talking about the new 25th anniversary Pokemon set called Celebrations, which comes out October the 8th. It's going to be, I think, two weeks prior to the Japanese version, but we got all kinds of stuff that they announced. They had pin sets, they had elite trainer boxes, mini tins, tins, premium collections. They're going all out, and this is going to be huge, especially with some of the cards they're offering. You know, you got a remake of the base set starters that I think, I know there is a Venusaur and I know there is a Charizard 25th anniversary and it's going to be the remake of the base set Charizard basically. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I'll try to put a picture here and I'll also include a link uh, in the description to kind of talk about that. But man, it says it's going to be hard to get, I feel. This is probably the most hype set that I have seen since I started Pokemon back again, back in 2020. So yeah, I'm relatively new again. So I'm, I'm going through all this stuff and everything is exciting to me. Um, I, I, I'm going to be pre-ordering everything I can get. I got to get that Charizard, man. There's going to be a Lance's Charizard. They're going to be doing these pin sets. They got a Dragon Pulp. Well, it's not the pin sets, okay? Celebrations collections. They have a few of these. They have a Dragapult Prime. They have a Lance's Charizard V and a Dark Sylveon V. They also have a Celebration Elite Trainer Box, Celebrations Deluxe Pin Collection, Celebrations Mini Tins, and there's a couple big items. There's the Premium Collection. I think it comes with 17 packs and you get gold cards. Um, I think I think you get a Charizard gold card, which I think is running for about $120. That's gonna be really hard to get. If you get a chance and you see it, get it. If you can pre-order it, get it, because I guarantee you're not gonna be able to find it in stores. It's gonna be picked up by all the uh, scalpers. Scalpers are just gonna come back in droves for this set. Um, we also have a celebration um special collection is a pikachu v union which v union is weird it's really strange it's basically um you're combining four cards kind of similar to the uh legends like the uh lugia and ho -Oh, and i'm i'm pretty sure those are other ones but this is very weird i think you can almost compare it to exodia i guess from Yu-Gi-Oh. but it's four parts you put them in your discard pile then you can play them if all four are in your discard pile you can actually play the v union card which is, the artwork is really cool but it's really strange like to me it's really strange because i'm not a player now i have played a little bit of pokemon tcg online um i have played a few matches with some friends that also collect and it's, it's really, I, I like it. Don't get me wrong, I like it. It's pretty good. One of my favorite games back in the day with the Pokemon uh, card game on Game Boy Color. That was one of my favorite games back in the day when I was a kid. And I'm more of a collector than a player. Now, um, I don't know if the V Union cards will be played. I, I don't know if they are. They have to be, I, I say... These are going to be more collector's items than they are actual playable cards. That's just my opinion. It's my opinion on it. I, I don't know. I could be wrong. But you are getting a Pikachu V Union, which might be pretty cool. I, I do have a Mewtwo V Union ordered. Uh, it's a Japanese version through uh, Hello Japan, uh, which I have to pre-order the other set. It's called Fusions. Um, I don't know what that's going to ha what's going to be in that. We got Evolving Skies coming out. That set's already been hyped up. You know, the United States is going to, well, not just the United States, English. Uh, they're going to be able to get a hold of the EV Illusions. Uh, there's going to be Rayquazas and Gyarados. We're bringing Dragons back. Um, yeah, it's going to be pretty sweet. There's this other set that was really, really cool to me uh, from the 25th anniversary which is a huge set. It comes with a Pikachu VMAX statue. It's really cool. Um, yeah, there's a whole lot, man. A whole lot. I, I, I don't even know what to say about half of this stuff because I guess what they're doing is they're releasing the 25th anniversary stuff. It's going to be Pokemon throughout the, the years uh, it's been out. So you're going to have uh, 
mechanics that's been introduced from every generation as well you're going to have your chase cards which i'm thinking there's 45 cards plus a bolt set within celebrations i could be wrong i thought at first it was 25 plus another 40 uh not 40 but another 20 um bolt but i i could be wrong I, i'm not 100 sure um the two new collections the premium figure collection and the Pikachu VMAX Le um, Celebrations Ultra Premium collection, that's going to hit on October 22nd. Now, you'll also be able to get everything else on October the 8th. Uh, on In the Japanese version, I believe it's two weeks after, so it's going to be more near the mid to the end of October, which the Japanese sets, set does look pretty cool, especially the packing. Um, now... The thing is about the celebration packs compared to regular packs, whenever you buy these collections, uh, the packs, I believe, is either four or five cards in the pack. Uh, you'll get a few of those and you'll get a few regular booster packs to open along with it. Um, I, I just see the resell on these like insane. This is going to be really, really crazy just what they do with it. Um, so I, I'm just going to say if you see it, if you want this, be sure you you know talk to your local game store, uh, anywhere at Pokemon Center. Try to get there as early as you can. That way you can get these pre-ordered because it's going to be a mess. It's going to be a really big mess. If you think the scalpers were bad earlier this year, it's going to get worse with this set. I, that's my opinion. It has died down. Um quite a bit actually where you can actually go to walmart which the other day i bought a lot of product from walmart shiny baits battle styles vivid voltage uh a few tins and you know shiny faces is kind of hard to get but i just went in and got a couple premium flexions some mini tins and we opened it up on the channel so maybe just maybe the hype does die down where you can go in the store and actually pick up some generations now i do think that a lot of the retailers are going to go ahead and do limit these just like they are now. Um, so just keep an eye out. Keep an eye out on these guys. This is big. This is really big. The Charizard, they shown a, there's a Japanese uh, photo, and I'll put it up here. That way you guys can see it. It's also a Venusaur they've shown off. Um, yeah, it's really cool. Really, really cool. Pretty damn excited. My wallet will not survive. Especially now that I have this, I got a brand new job. I, I get, I just, I, I want to add this because this is something that's important to me. As you guys know, I have been looking for a good job in graphic design. I, I'm, I've been a graphic designer since I was a freshman in high school. I've always loved graphic design. I use Photoshop every day, every day. Uh, I do freelance stuff. I make logos. Uh, I'm, I'm dabbling into video editing, trying to learn that a whole lot better. Um, and you'll start seeing with the channel, things are going to get added and, you know, it's going to be pretty big, I hope. But yeah, I just got offered a graphic design job uh, for a local uh, sign company around my area, which is exciting. It's going to be full time and it's going to be a permanent job where I'm going to be able to see things that I have worked on in this area and it's going to be great. I'm super excited. I start next Monday, so that's going to be big. Um, kind of maybe be able to work around some stuff with the Pokemon and graphic design within our channel. Um, yeah. And also, guys, thank you so much for all the support so far. I really appreciate all of the uh, awesome support, all the nice comments. Uh, I'm, I really love the growth. I'm hoping we hit 500 followers by... Hopefully, maybe in the next month or so, that would be amazing if we can hit 500 followers. Guys, if you if you want, like I said, we will be giving away a free copy of Pokemon Snap or an Elite Trainer Box for whenever that may be. Now, I don't know. I think the Elite Trainer Box for Celebrations will be hard to get. Um, but if we hit it before maybe uh, Evolving Skies or something, like we can... Definitely do that. We, we could try to get us an Elite Trainer Box for um, the giveaway. We'll try that. Um, I know I'm going to pre-order a couple Elite Trainer Boxes myself and the Premium and Pikachu VMAX collection. 
those are the items I really want. And plus, they have this other set coming out in um, August. It is a Marnie collector set that's going to have the full art Marnie that we've seen in Japan that is huge. Like, it's 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 around $250. I don't know. I know this will lower the price quite a bit. But if you want to buy the card, it's usually about $250. It's a really popular card. And it's finally coming to the States in a little collection, just a Marnie collection. So you want to check that out too. Uh, again, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you soon.